Hello everyone. So we will continue that topic. We declared the class. We implemented the class and we called the class method using the object because as it is a instance method. I will take one exception also. So I will declare one exception with the help of exceptions keyword and I will give some name to the exception. If you remember in SC24, when we created the usual ABAP class, we did the same thing. We declared one exception. We declared one exception. Same to same thing we are doing here. Now we will raise the exception also. If size sub RC not equals to zero, we will raise that particular exception. If user is passing the wrong sales document number, size sub RC will be other than zero and I will raise this particular exception. Same thing you did there also when we wrote the logic in usual ABAP class method. Now, while calling this method, I will also pass the exception, exceptions, wrong underscore input. Suppose I'm giving the exception number as one. If you remember the same thing we did when we called the usual ABAP class method. At that time, SAP automatically gave the number. Here, we manually gave the number to the exception. So now I will write or display the output. If size sub RC equals to zero. I will print the output of these four variables. If size sub RC is not equals to zero, I will give a message. I will check the message class and we will give a message from there itself. Okay, I will pass this 002 message. Message. I will give a error message. 002 and what is my message class name? This is my message class. Now I will check the syntax and activate the program. So this is the full flash program which we developed with the help of local classes. Why I am saying it local? Because this class one you cannot use in any other program. That's why I am saying it as a local class. Now, people always think how this program will trigger, how this program will work. It will work in a continuous manner. It will trigger line by line. No. If you are not calling a particular method. How the logic will trigger for that particular method? So whenever I will click on the execute button, this start of selection logic will trigger 
and you are calling the method display so whenever you will call the method then the control will go to this particular line number i will show you in the debugging mode so never think that this is continuous logic if i am not calling the method how the logic inside this that method will trigger it will not trigger i am calling the method on 38 number line then whenever i will call the method then it this particular logic will trigger so to call a math so to trig so to trigger the logic calling is very very necessary now we will see in the debugging mode how this will give us the output i am putting a breakpoint on 37 number line i am giving a input suppose i am giving a right input i'll go to desktop 3 and you can see currently i am on 37 number line my object has not created yet now the object is created if the object is created i can call the instance method with the help of object yes now if i want to go inside this method you know we have to do f5 now you can see i am on 25 number line and you can see calling is on 38 number line but after calling the logic which i wrote on 25 number line it's triggered so calling is very necessary for a method to trigger now if i will execute this query you can see i got the output of these four output parameters now i will just check size sub r c0 it will print the output of these four variables now suppose i am giving a wrong input we'll check the vice versa case if i will give the wrong input so whenever control will go inside this method psi sub r c will be other than 0 it will raise the exception and you can see for that exception i gave the number as 1 so psi sub r c is 1 so it will go to else part and it will give this particular message rest part we will continue in the next video thank you